Hello friends, in my previously uploaded videos, there was a video detailing the M engine remote control systems. Just a recap, the M engines can be controlled from three different consoles. Firstly, from the bridge console. Secondly, from the engine control room console. And thirdly, from the local operating panel. In order to run the engine smoothly, the command signals generated from these consoles must be continuous and without any interruption. The main engine remote control system located in the engine control console is powered continuously with 24 volt DC supply from two different sources. One is from main switchboard with the AC to DC converter and another source is from UPS batteries. For ME engines, these UPS batteries are very crucial and most of the time being unnoticed. These batteries needs to be replaced every 5 years. Friends, there is a standard procedure to replace these batteries. In this video, I will demonstrate you the techniques to renew the UPS batteries. So guys, let's get started. First ensure you have a genuine set of spare batteries available on board your ship. Usually Panasonic make lead acid batteries are used for ME engines remote control systems. Guys, prior disconnecting the old batteries, you need to enter the service mode of the UPS for main engine remote control systems. For this, there are two push buttons located on the UPS. Press both these buttons for 6 seconds to enter the service mode. The first red LED will be on indicating you are in the service mode. An alarm will be triggered on the alarm monitoring screen mentioning M engine remote control UPS fail. Then open the battery box cover. There are two fuses located at the base of the battery set. Remove both these fuses. Then remove the cabling for the batteries. I would suggest to capture a picture for identification of the polarity of the terminals. This would help preventing wrong connections while installing back the cables on new set of batteries. Remove the old batteries. Install the new set of batteries Connect the cables in the same sequence, taking into consideration the polarity of the terminals. Insert back both the fuses. Next step is to register the new set of batteries on the UPS. For this, you need to press the right side button on the UPS for 6 seconds. The bar graph on the UPS flashes 3 times, indicating the new set of batteries are registered with the system. Now you need to exit the service mode of the UPS. For this, press both the buttons on the UPS for 6 seconds. The top red LED goes off. This indicates you have exited the service mode. The main engine remote control UPS fail alarm resets back to normal. Guys, the job of renewal of the batteries is to be performed with main engine in stopped condition. So in order to maintain the continuous and uninterrupted DC supply on your main engine remote control console, it's time to check the last renewal date of the UPS batteries. Friends, if at all you find this video informative, do hit the like button and share it among your colleagues to be a better engineer on board your vessel. And don't forget to subscribe my channel to gather such informative knowledge related to ME engines. Thank you for watching the video. Wish you all safe seas and healthy stay on board. Thank you.